Hello, my name is Kark32, and welcome. Ah, welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. As always, thank you very much to my Patreons. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel, there is a link below as well as a Discord, so you can tell me what I am doing wrong. So feel free to join the Discord and uh, let me know how bad I am at this game <laughs> um i have just been i'll head over there in a second oh i didn't get feedbacks from there oh well not the end of the world uh usually with a gain of like eight or nine or something like that usually you get z bags uh but basically what i am doing is trying to populate this field with higher tier um, higher tier crops. No, I, I know I don't need that one. So we'll just place that back. I don't need oak bonsai. We're doing that right there. That's jungle sapling. Don't really need that. Don't need that. Uh, that would be a cactus. <laughs> uh, I may actually let that... Actually, I don't know. Can that grow on just regular dirt? I, apparently it can. Didn't know that. But uh, yeah, so basically, as you can see, I have emptied out the crops and I put two by two crops everywhere. And then I am just kind of waiting for these ones to populate. Now, I've been, I kind of was doing this and then I realized like a little bit into it, I kind of should have picked a stat uh, that I want. Um, I'm not going to be super strict about this until eventually this will probably have um like perfect crops like 23 31 kind of thing uh you know just for fun i like i said this whole build is just for fun it's not even like <laughs> that great but uh yeah so i was i kind of decided on 20 stats so like growth 13 gain 7 all right so that's 20 that's only 17, so let's just get rid of that. Of course, I do get a seed bag from that. <laughs> uh, so that's 18, 18, and 17. I'm not counting the resistance because it really... That just adds to the nutrients or the... Um, yeah, like the environment stuff. The more stats, the more environment it needs, so... Resistance isn't that important, and it just makes it more difficult to grow. Uh, so that is kind of why you want to end up with... Not, now, I'm not being super strict about it, but, uh, like, that's 19. Okay, that's fine. Um, and anything that... I've left this for a while. I was actually taking care of it pretty well, but I went and did something else. That's 19. All right, so there we go. We got that. Basically anything that doesn't have a oh wow that's a 15.9 oh i didn't get it i probably should have uh used the dislocation one on that well yeah, that was 24. all right so that one we might i'm just gonna pick it up move it here just because it's such a good thing although i probably should have thrown it in the middle but uh yeah so this is kind of what i'm doing and then I'm just slowly populating out this field. Um, but like I said, I haven't been over here in a while, so I am trying to remember what I was. Yeah, all right. So did we get, did we get the cactus? Was that cactus? Yes, all right, so cool. We got the cactus seeds. Uh, all right, so that is kind of what we're doing there. What is that? Hump. I don't think we need hump. Watch as it's like super important. I don't remember ever using that before. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna be like super like crazy about this. Otherwise, I'm gonna spend like my whole life doing this. <laughs> so basically, just gonna. Replant these and then no, I did the wrong one. <laughs> oh well. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. But, uh, yeah, and then as soon as this is done, basically whenever I fill in all the, the gaps, I can just let it just completely populate the whole thing. Unfortunately, I see two crops. I don't know if it's config or that's just how they are. That's a terrible crop, so bye. Um, they can't... You need two like this, and it needs to be like on a diagonal. Um, they don't just spread out, unfortunately. That's a good one. Um, I'll let that grow one stage so I can pick it. And then I'm also getting other crops, as we can see. Yellowstone lily. I'm not going to worry about the stone lilies right now. I have two of them. That's up. All right. Anyway, I don't need to spend too much more time on this. Um, also, I have gone ahead and throw down a crop matron, weed X, fertilizer. All that stuff's really easy to craft up and water. Now, this does a nine by nine area, just like the harvester, um, and it goes either one up or one down. So I have placed it down there. Uh, we do have the crop harvester in here and i will place the crop harvester down right on top of that uh when these have filled in because we don't want it uh chopping these wood down because then they can't breed but yeah unfortunately that can't move to that i have to have a crop there for it to move uh, so it definitely makes it a bit more difficult but uh these now that i've gotten a decent amount in these things are coming in pretty quick to be honest so, all right, that is that. I have also crafted up a bunch of circuits. And I did want to show something. I didn't realize this was a thing, and I think it's, like, super, super cool. Um, but if you look at the recipe for this, there is now a, a diagram for how you make them. And this is actually really, really cool. Because um, if you look in this, like, how confusing is that? <laughs> there's 18 pages of recipes they have different things and like these are even worse because there's capacitors and then there's smd versions and not smd versions but uh yeah if you look at the thing now you can actually see so we can look at this and we're like oh okay those are all the same tier that's awesome and then i believe this is like the row so this is the I saw that <laughs> let me grab that uh i guess i could hold that in my hand while i'm talking about this yeah so this processor assembly line as we can see is like this is the mvhv workstation the workstations are going to require these which require these um and then we can see each of the hv circuits um obviously to the <laughs> to the right is the best um, these, uh, I didn't really find a use for them. I don't know if they've gotten any better, but these things were not, I didn't think these were that good. Um, because each one requires the tier before it. So you want an HV tier, you need an MV tier, you need a LV, LULV. So it's just like crazy expensive. Uh, but yeah, um, and then being able to clearly see what is like or dictionary, that is awesome. So obviously this, there's no or dictionary for those, but this, the capacitors, you can use either type, which is really, really cool. I like that. Um, it does say it needs a clean room. It needs, I don't know if that means anything, but uh, yeah, it does require a clean room. So is what fluid, that is just really, really cool. Obviously, at some point, we will get to this. But I think, think we... That's LUV, isn't it? Um, I can't remember. But, um, all right. Yeah, so I got that going because I want to craft something up with those. But uh, let me finish getting that field finished and the crop harvester down so I can clear out my inventory. And, uh, yeah. Also, I've had... I'm just letting these nodes... This node bully everything, and we can see it is picking up the things. I could maybe grab another node. Uh, I've placed these down kind of bad. 
I should have this like in the middle. That actually made me jump. <laughs> I should have it like in the middle is what I'm thinking. And then on each corner have one node. That way they are spread out from each other, but they can reach the center. I I totally screwed that up. Um and I don't want to pick those nodes up. So maybe I'll wait till they're completely gone. They're slowly getting eaten. And then, uh, yeah. Although this has gotten quite a bit from that. Um, it hasn't, it's gotten 17 air. It hasn't gone up at all for Terra. So I don't know if there's like a limit. No clue, actually. Like I said, I don't really know the mechanics of this stuff. But, uh. That's gotten a, quite a lot from that. All right, just a quick update. Not going to get much into this, but uh, yeah, finished filling out the crops. And I actually built a, another layer on the boiler. So we now have a max size boiler. And it is producing enough steam with the other one to just have this running uh, permanently. So. Uh, there is a little bit of lag over there. I think it's the pipes, but once I run away from it, it's it's fine. So um, I also added this because I was like, I should be prioritizing that power. Um, so I actually added a extreme voltage battery buffer, which outputs a signal. I don't know which I have on. It is EU stored and then inverted. So when it's full, it outputs nothing. And then when it starts dropping, it outputs a stronger signal. So when it just loses a little bit, um, it outputs a one, but it can't reach that. So once it starts dropping, because uh, we're running the blast furnace or something like that, it will turn on my combustion generator just so we stopped uh, using fuel. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's not that fast, but uh, I don't have oil being pumped into here like i have a bunch of oil in here but uh i uh it's not automatic i have to go get it from the overworld using large cells so uh, i don't want to use fuel if i don't need to um until we can do that but ender tanks i think are locked behind iv i think they if i remember it was an iv pump so we're almost there but not quite anyway that is enough of that. Uh, I am going to craft up a mass fabricator. Now I am just going to do the very basic one um, because one, I don't produce enough power in my, my base to do anything higher than that, but I do want to get it going. It's going to be very, very slow, but you know, if I'm in the world, it'll be slowly It'll slowly be going up, which is kind of what I I want. Um, it does require quite a few HV things, but now that I can just do the that and type in how many I want, and it just puts the stuff in here for me, it is way, way quicker. Uh, so it's not that bad. Uh, I did need, what did I need? I needed this. Ew, I totally forgot that. Auto outputs now. All right, there we go. So I think that is everything. Yes. All right. So we'll basically just have this running. Um, and I may actually need to be careful with this. Also, it is really dark down here. Um, Because the redstone alloy, I don't remember how many amps that holds one amp. I could just throw it here. Uh, yeah, why don't I just do that? I think I'll just throw it here for the time being. And, um, like, we don't. Yeah, we don't need, <laughs> like, we don't need, oh, do I need to input eight amps? Is that right? Let me just double check. 
Let's have. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I am indeed not getting a enough power. So I'm going to craft up. A uh, a better transformer it does require a lot of materials, but we're gonna do one that takes in four amps and output sixteen, which is very very cool. I wish uh, Greg Tech Community Edition had that. All right, apparently we had quests and all sorts of stuff for it. Um, but yeah, so this can take in four amps of LUV and output. 16 um yeah we're not getting enough power here so i think i'm going to i may drop this actually over mm, thinking it might be better over there closer to the the thing just because this is so power hungry um having it all the way over here the power we lose so many Ticks or not ticks, but we lose so many um, from cable loss. I'm thinking I should maybe have it over here. I do have MV over here, and this stuff rarely ever runs. So I guess I could just throw it right here. Yep. Good. Now this can only output four amps, so we don't have to worry about cables or anything going boom. That is getting power. So in theory, if I put this down here, this should be getting enough power. It should turn on in a second. Just took a second to uh, register. Yep, yeah, there it goes. All right. So that is. Very, very slow, but uh, like I said, I'm just gonna let it run. Um, but in the meantime, well, not in the meantime, while that is working, um, like that might be actually enough to drain this and pull, put the, uh, start using diesel. So I don't know if it is 100% worth it right now, but I just wanted to, Get it crafted and going. I think the next thing we're going to do, though, is we need to get more power because I want to really start automating stuff. Um, for one thing, I want titanium automated, and titanium actually is a bit power hungry. We look at the recipe. It is 480 ticks, so it needs like a thing, and you want this running almost permanently. So I really... I mean, I can produce two amps of HV, but uh, on top of the AE system is the problem. And I really want to ramp up my AE system as well, but this is pulling 96 EU per tick. So I am really, <laughs> I'm pushing my base to the limit with my two little power things. And plus, if I throw this on, then all hell breaks loose. So I do think I want to start looking into uh, upgrading my power and plus um when i finally upgrade these i've been i thought i was gonna do this earlier but the nano circuits also are not uh the um they do require 600 EU per tick so i'm gonna have to upgrade that and stuff so we're definitely gonna need more power and i'm thinking if i think i'm going to actually Think in nuclear. Nuclear is pretty cool because you can just place it down and w get it going. And I believe it's been buffed too. So that is another reason. I think it just said it's been, yeah, it's 10 times. Um, and I have some thorium or I need to, I need to go to th throw down my miner on a thorium. Thorium, Emerald, Beryllium. Yep, 
Yeah, so beryllium. So another... Uh, I can't remember if I found one, to be honest, but I think I have. I, I don't remember. Um, but I need to go throw that on there and start getting some thorium. And I think we will just do some very, very basic thorium um, until we get to Mars. So that is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I, I, we're not going to be doing like quad fuel rods. I think we're just... If I remember, it's been a long time since I've done the IC2 ones, but I think it is six of those and a couple overclocker or a couple things in the thing. But before I get that, I do need titanium. And I have some, I've used a lot of it. Uh, yeah, I need to get titanium going. Now we should have, we have a decent amount of rutile. Um, I think I needed, I need 72. I want to say I, I need eight dense titanium plates. So two for that and then two each. So, and lots and lots of lead. I need to get some lead going as well. I don't think I've ever thrown the thing on a lead vein. I did it manually. I craft up a bunch of lead manually. I remember doing that. Did I do a Galena? I don't think I did. We'd be in this one. This is like my, this is my um, Twilight Forest chest. Man, I need to clear this out. <laughs> I need to get all this stuff taken care of anyway, but I'm filling up my discs. And they're not the easiest thing in the world to make right now. Um, yeah, I don't think I have done a lead vein. I might have gotten some tiny lead dusts that kept me going, but uh, yeah. All right, so. Let me start getting some titanium. Like I said, I need eight. I need eight of these. Let me, let me do that so I remember. Yeah, two and then four, six, eight. So that is, I need 72. Ooh. That's, that's four ingots of platinum. All right, none of the other ones do. This is going to be a, <laughs> this isn't the easiest thing to get going, but uh, I think it is time we upgrade our power. Plus, uh, Miles Man will stop making fun of me for not having any power in my Discord. So let me get this started going and we'll be back. Okay, before we go ahead and get... The nuclear reactor crafted up. I do need to mine out a couple veins. I have gone ahead and uh, went to the moon and moved my moved the miner. It was on top of a chromite vein, and I realized I forgot to bring the chromite back. Uh, it's in a diamond chest, and <laughs> I totally forgot to bring some of it back. Um, but I put it on a Galena vein, which it was right next to. The thing was right over. So it is mining out the Galena, lead, and silver vein, which is actually good because we are running a bit low on silver. Um, I, there's probably silver ore somewhere in here. Although I do think I, I went through most of my silver, I think. So that actually has worked out. Yeah, I think I emptied all the silver out. Yeah. All right, so we actually did need silver. That's not... No, that's sulfur. Oh, I do have some thorium. <laughs> Apparently, I was close enough to a vein. Yeah, the emerald and the thorium are for the, the vein. I don't know where... I don't remember where it was. Um, but after that, we'll leave that thing up there to mine out the lead vein. Um, I have this going on. Um, I need a bigger tank <laughs> for all this chlorine. Uh, basically, I am... Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm turning all this magnesium chloride back into magnesium and chlorine so I can get a bunch of this chlorine back to process this rutile. All right, uh, but in the meantime, I'm actually gonna have to do a couple things here. Uh, we did see that we need platinum cables. Um, one, we're gonna need to get a better 
rubber, so either a silicon rubber or the styrene and butadine. Silicon rubber is probably the easiest. I don't remember. I thought I, I can't remember if I actually did it. No, it's right there. That's the, the thing for that. Um, but I think I'm actually gonna do this this quest line to get the polyphenylene sulfide, because that helps with getting the higher tier cables, and it's relatively easy to craft up. Um, I do need a distillery, and eventually I'm going to be sending all this. No, hold on one second. Copper. Yes, I think we need that size. Yeah, I think that size will do. Eventually, we're going to be. I'm going to redo all this setup. Um, I'm going to have four chemical reactors for each of the outputs. Uh, that is the plan. So one for sulfuric gas and naphtha and uh, that. And then I'm going to actually convert heavy fuel, going to crack this and then send it through a distillery to get all the other byproducts. Basically, kind of what I am doing here, like propane, we can actually get from sending um in there somewhere heavy fuel severely steam crack heavy fuel and then i will be able to get all these byproducts but that is like a 12 tier uh distillery and uh we are nowhere near able to get that yet but i am crafting up or i am i got all that chromite which is going to make getting chrome much much easier um but i forgot to bring it back from the moon <laughs> So, yeah, it's been a while since we started kind of progressing. Um, I did a bunch of magic, which is going to help us in the future. So I was glad to do that. And plus, it's, it's kind of fun having um, that dislocation focus because that's going to help as well. Uh, but I think we'll just do... I'll do this manually. And basically, I'm doing... Right now, I need... Do this I need some bigger things but titanium is the next tier up and i don't i want to craft up titanium things but it's a pain getting the oil over that's why i'm not running this is as much as possible um benzene is what i need uh, benzene Put that up there i guess i didn't really need to add it all right two boy do I love that? <laughs> Whoever did that, thank you very much. I think that is one of the best quality of life upgrades, adding the circuits to the machine. And I'm not going to lie, but I did, uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that would have been a cool way to do it way back in my first season. I'm not saying they did it because I mentioned it, but I did think that would have been a cool way to do it. Um, all right. So benzene, there is that. Um, sodium sulfur, I need to throw that together. That is easy peasy. And uh, we'll do that. And let's get some of this. Need dichlorobenzene next. And then oxygen, which we have lots of. Even have it running over here. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll be right back. All right, uh, that really wasn't too bad actually so let me we'll do that and wait did i use all my no i used all my chlorine <laughs> no i didn't realize that's kind of funny i totally uh i used my chlorine for my titanium i need to i definitely need to process more. I just haven't got around to it. All right. There we go. There is the last of it. I have quite a lot of hydrochloric acid, actually. Um, I think we'll, we'll probably leave that. I do need to get it set into tanks. Um, but until we start transporting fluids all over the base, uh, I haven't done that yet all right we got our dichlorobenzene we got our sodium sulfide also when it comes to loop bags i did 
finally unlock the research for that, which we'll probably do next episode, along with a silver wood rod. Thought I would mention that. But uh, let's finish this. We need oxygen. I need more cells. Empty cell. Do I not have? Okay, I have enough. I was like, do we not have enough to complete that quest? That would be annoying. 64. Many, what did I need? 32. Uh, yes. All right. So let's make this. I'm assuming it goes in there. Um. Right. Oh, there's only two... These look like the exact same recipes. One just doesn't require cells. So uh, just got to be a little careful with the, the quest because you never know if I'm doing the right one. All right, so that is in there. That is in there. That is in there. All right, cool. Well, that is one more plastic. I think that's a plastic. I think any of the poly stuff is a plastic if... In real life, if I am not completely mistaken. But that will be that. And then with that, we can finally get some higher tier cables. Um, can't do tungsten wires, but we do have platinum. I don't remember where we got all these platinum ingots. I think it was from a loot bag, wasn't it? That we got all those. Um, but I'm going to need eight. Um, I'm going to need an 8x cable, and that will be for the nuclear reactor. Um, unfortunately, not going to get that done today, mostly because I have to wait for two veins. Well, I guess I don't really need to wait for the entire uh, thorium vein. I just need some thorium to start it going, but... Uh, yeah, that will... That's that uh, X cable. Now I also need to get a better, a better rubber, and I think we'll we'll do we'll start out next episode with that, and then we will get the nuclear reactor crafted up. I think that's what we'll do. So we'll do that kind of right at the start. It's not that difficult. It does require chlorine, though. Everything seems to require chlorine, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I'm going to process more salt. Let me throw some salt in my inventory so I remember that. And uh, I will get this titanium going. And start smelting that. I mean, do I have 58? Yeah, we're good. Also, I love being able to click that right there. All right, cool. So that is running. And uh, we got our mass fabricator running. Ordered this out. Um, I did have to switch to a insulated redstone circuit because the machine controller wasn't didn't seem to be working with a low signal. It needed a high... A strong signal but uh yeah there we go we are just <laughs> we are bringing in the eu matter 24 liters um but anyway yeah we'll come back and uh we'll get progressing i we will get the nuclear reactor in episode but anyway that's gonna be for today thanks for watching and have a good one